Bias in Art Criticism State Standard HS1.T.R2.B Identify cultural perspectives, personal aesthetics, preferences, and beliefs that may influence the evaluation of a theatrical work. It is impossible to ignore your bias when writing a review of a piece of art, whether that's a painting, a song, a movie, or a piece of theater. Your biases are absolutely going to impact your enjoyment of art, and your enjoyment can influence whether or not you believe the art is successful. For film and theater specifically, there are a few different kinds of bias that can impact your reviewing experience. Anchoring bias can impact your reviewing experience because it's likely the first iteration of a work of art you encounter you will consider the best one. Imagine you hear a song and like it and realize it was a cover of an older song. You go back and listen to the original song and you don't like it as much because you heard the cover first. If you're watching a play based on a movie and you've already seen the movie, you're less likely to review the play positively because you saw the movie first. When reviewing a play or movie, availability bias will impact your review because the more you've heard about a play or movie, the better you'll expect it to be. If you've ever seen a movie that didn't live up to the hype, this is why. Odds are you would have enjoyed it more if you hadn't heard so much about it. The more you hear about a movie or play, the higher your expectations will be. Bandwagon bias can impact a review because if you hear lots of people say one thing, you're more likely to agree even if you don't. If you've heard everyone talk about how much a certain movie sucks, you're more likely to say it sucks too even if you liked it. If it weren't for bandwagon bias, there would be no such thing as a guilty pleasure movie. Remember, confirmation bias means if the ideas presented support your beliefs, you'll like it. So, for example, if you're a feminist and the main character has some great pro-feminist lines, you're more likely to enjoy the play or movie because it's clear that the author's point of view agrees with yours. The opposite of confirmation bias is ostrich bias. If the ideas presented in a play or movie contradict your beliefs, it's very likely that you won't like it. If you're a misogynist and the main character has some great pro-feminist lines, you'll probably get irritated or angry and not enjoy the play or movie. When reviewing a play or movie, personal bias, which, remember, is the kind of bias we've been talking about primarily so far, will impact your review. If you see your tribe or tastes represented in a way that aligns with your bias, you are more likely to enjoy the experience than if you see yourself represented in a way that conflicts with your ideas. Additionally, if you feel a tribal connection to the artist, you're more likely to appreciate their work. If you identify the artist as outside your tribe, you're more likely to look for errors in their work. The final way that bias can impact our reviews is through survivorship bias. Specific to plays and movies, this means you're more likely to assume a play or movie is good because it's old. If a play is old, like something Shakespeare wrote, for example, you'll try harder to enjoy it because you think it must be good to have survived this long. As you write your first reviews, understand that it is impossible to remove your biases from your reactions to art. Whether or not a reviewer acknowledges their bias can make the difference between a bad review and a good review. A bad review does not acknowledge bias. The reviewer will assume their tastes represent best practices. Bad reviewers use their preferences as a guideline for success. On the other hand, good reviews will acknowledge bias and the reviews will be written with the understanding that something can be good even if you personally don't like it. And vice versa, just because you like it doesn't mean it's good. Good reviews use models or rubrics as a guideline for success instead of personal preferences. <laughs>